Have about. you cried because of sports? Have you legit yeah, cried? Yeah, of course. What part? Like multiple Winning, times? losing, yeah. For real. I mean, losing is more... It's like a it's like a whole body cry. And you, and you assign a, you, you assign a ton of value to like the athletes. You really care. No, 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 no. I I, I know it's can absolutely I, ridiculous. Can I tell you the moment where I was just like, eh, this is a little bit too much. So it's the 2007 NBA All Star Game. It's in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go with my friends. We go. This is the year I got I got choke slammed by Michael Jordan's bodyguard outside of his birthday party. I've told the story before, but there was this other moment the next day. You deserved it. I deserved it. I, I ran up on him and tried to get a high five. Don't I, do that. I was wrong. Yeah. Next day, we're at the craps tables. It's late at night. We, we see all the players, right? Vince Carter is still popping. This is 07. So he's still, like, he's on the nets. He's still kind of, he's still yakking on people. He's still popping. Yeah, he's still popping. He's still popping. He's, he's, yeah. he's, 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 he's still in the Hawks. Leaks. He's still windmills. Yeah. But we're talking, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're talking. Vinsanity. Vinsanity. Towards uh, the end two, of Vinsanity. Two years yeah, yeah, yeah. after Vinsanity. Right, right, right. But he, right. was still, he was still doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dunking on Alonzo Morning and stuff like that. I see him at the craps table. He's got the he's got the fitted. He's got he's got the full Steve Harvey suit on, just the big ass jacket. Doesn't fit him at all. And I see him. He's at the craps table, and and I'm like, dude, I want to talk to Vince. Like Vince was like my guy. Like that era, 2001, 2002. I was like Vince Carter. So I go up to him. My friends like, oh, go go talk to him. And I'm like, I'm gonna go talk to him. I go, uh, hey, Mr. Carter, can can I get a photo? Nobody's around him, by the way. He's just talking to a girl. And he turns around and he just goes, Come on, man. I'm talking to a girl like in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. And I like in that moment, have you ever have a moment where like you step out of your own body and you observe what's happening in the mm -hmm. scene. And I'm like, Oh yeah, you're right. A 25 year old Indian kid just walked up to Vince Carter at two o'clock in the morning while he's trying to do what he's doing. Right. Right. Know? Right. What am I doing? Yes. What am I doing? So that made you fall out of love with sports? No, 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 no. Assigning all this value of like, Vince, how could you do this to me? People are like on Twitter right now, Kyrie, you did us dirty. Yeah. Us? Yeah. Dude, when I was growing up, my dad was like, why do you have posters of these guys in your room? Nobody cares about you the way I do. Ooh. Which was some mad like emotional guilt, but it's yes. kind of true. Yeah, yes. I mean, you should have had posters of your dad. You know who yeah. I should have posters of? My dad yeah. and Satya Nadella. And yep. Sundar Pichai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should Those get, are the real goats. You should get a fat head. The of, CEOs of Microsoft oh. and the CEO of Google. Just yeah. up Go. on my wall right yes. now. Yes. Just the true goats. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm never going to make the team. No. Mm -hmm. So fucking brush up on your engineering and join these two dudes in greatness. A fat uh, head of I, Steve Ballmer would be great to put on your kid's wall. Yeah. Think about it. You, if you're on your kid's wall, you had, you had Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella, Steve Ballmer, like mm -hmm. posters of Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, like just... These these are your guys. Yeah. See, I disagree on on like our relationship with sports. Our, so our, I never. So I, sports in and of itself is beautiful, right? But the when we took, come on, man, you knew this growing up. You start assigning Chris Webber betrayed no, no, us. Okay, he, us. But I he betrayed think, us. I find so much humor in that, and I love when fans are that attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're not like, personally that attached. But no, you we're got not personally yeah, that attached. You gotta figure out what it made me figure out was the line. By which, like, all right, I'm gonna take it up to this line, and then after that, I'm not. You know oh, what see, I mean? Oh, see, I want the line. I want it to go. You past. want no line. The, you want to burn video jerseys. Of all time was you want to do all that was stuff. Was the uh, the Utah fan who was like, have fun, Gordon Hayward have fun going to be LeBron's B word. Like that was a funny video. I love fanaticism is hilarious to right. me because half of my brain is that meatball fan, and half of it is smart enough to know how stupid the other half is. That's beautiful. That's pretty much our that's show. Beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. That's pretty much our show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Being beautiful. like, we, we make fun of sports fans, but it are but, like, but deep down, also kinda I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's too your, much. That's your joking, not joking. Right. Exactly. That's, a, that's a full, full circle, circle moment. All right. All right. All right.